Welcome to Jenny's Walk. Let's make some dal rice, tomato, and codfish with fry fish. Let's get started. Here's my rice. Here's my tomato and codfish. Here's some dal. Looks very exciting. Garlic infused and that fry white in fish. So in my dal or split peas, I add garlic, onion, salt, hing, and thyme. Give that a good boil. Now halfway, I'm going to add in that turmeric or haldi. That will give it that authentic taste and that yellow color to the dal after 10 minutes i goate the dal with the dal goatney now we're going to chunky the dal by using cumin seeds and garlic to infuse that oil after it reach a beautiful color now we're going to infuse it together with that split peas or dal marvelous beautiful every time you could enjoy this just as it is now this is my codfish give it a clean wash soak it overnight so it'll get all that salt off give it a cover tight in the refrigerator give it a little boil the next day for 10 minutes and you get most of that salt out time to fry it crispy this is the way i like it put my codfish in my nonstick. add some oil generous amount give it a good fry until it's beautiful and golden brown perfect let's take that out now so to continue my codfish and tomato here's my ripened plum tomato leave them in the counter to get a beautiful ripe give them a good wash and here i have my onions i'm going to give a thinly sliced so here is my onion i like it very thin i don't want it diced but i want it sliced in goes two cloves of garlic i'm going to give that a good little smash just like so and just give it a good rough chop that will be marvelous just to infuse into that tomato and codfish you want some heat not a problem here is a red hot habanero I'm going to just slice a little bit of it because I don't know how the heat is in this. So let's get started now with that same oil. I'm going to add some fennel greek or meiti. In goes that onions that we slice. You could give it a little sprinkle of salt. Here is that garlic and that hot pepper. Let it come up to a nice color. Now I want to take half of this out and put it on the side together with that codfish that we fried. I'm going to show you a little trick in the end of this dish. So put that away and that's about enough, half of it, that's fine. And now I want to add to my onion that is infusing the oil with the garlic and hot pepper, that diced tomato, that plum ripened tomato. Full of juices, bit tangy, you could add a little touch of sugar and some salt and some oregano. The sugar will calm the tanginess down. It needs a little more heat, so here I'm going to add two Kashmir chili to give it additional flavor. Give that a good mix. That looks marvelous. Everything is all melted down. Now let's add that codfish and that onions that we took out after it was been fried. Turn the heat off and this is ready to go. Give this a try and this will be the only way you'll be making your codfish and tomato. Now my basmati rice, I want to boil with salt to taste, cardamom, clove, cinnamon for just additional flavor. My fish, give it a good wash with milk, seasoned with uh, lemon juice. Here I have some mustard oil salt black pepper oregano and garlic salt give that a good mix sprinkle some flour to give it a nice little coating and we're going to fry this now into medium hot oil add those pieces carefully one piece at a time don't let it splatter to get burned what i'm looking for is a beautiful golden brown finish to enjoy this lovely dish here dal rice codfish with tomato and fry fish so there you go that looks marvelous look at that spread wow our lovely basmati rice here with all those lovely spices that we boil it here is our codfish and tomato crunchy and that onion added back with that sweet flavor to bring back into that fish our dal with infused with the garlic and the cumin seed divine and of course our fry fish whitened there you go no bones in there it's all fillet Beautiful dish here to enjoy anytime from Jenny's Walk. From my kitchen to your kitchen.